are wandering willy-nilly all over Goldenrod, but don't worry, it's almost over. There are a few houses left after this, but this is the last big major stop. Now I'm gonna try the lucky number again, since it's a brand new week, and I'm aware that using the the save states, uh, well, it, re it regenerates a new a lucky number every time, but I'm not gonna abuse that. I'm gonna go for it one per week. I don't want to abuse the weaknesses of the programming. Okay, now it's time to take the quiz in order to get the radio expansion for the Poke Gear. And you have to answer five questions, as usual. So, let's get this quiz started. Question number one. Is there a Pokemon that, that appears only in the morning? I can think of Lediba, though there are probably others. And question number two. Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at a mart, and it's absolutely impossible, even several years later. Question number three. Does HM01 contain the move Flash? Nope. HM01 is cut. HM05 is Flash. Is Faulkner the violet gym leader who uses bird Pokemon? Yes, he is. And question number five. For the Pokegear card... Uh, do Goldenrod Game Corner's slots uh, have Charmander on their reels? I don't think so, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna answer no, and, and it's the right answer! And so I got the radio card, and the fun thing is, you, if you miss one of the questions, you can answer the questions again right away. There's no waiting until uh, the next day or something like that. The thing is, though, it makes the quiz completely pointless. Just give me the damn thing already. So let's take a look at a few of the shows that are available on this. And it's the shittiest radio show in the world. The less said about this, the better. Pokemon Music Channel. This one, well, depending on the day, you have either a march or a lullaby, which either increases or decreases the encounter rate. Lucky Channel, we all know about this, and Buena's password, which is crystal only. So she gives you a password, which is Lucky Channel for today, and after that I have to go back uh, to uh, the radio tower and go see Buena and give her the password, and she's going to give me a point, and I can use the points I accumulate to buy some prizes. And keep in mind, it's only doable between 6 p.m. and midnight. And among the prizes, there are some really cool things like uh, the permanent stat boosting vitamins like HP up and iron and things like that. But the coolest is definitely the rare candy, which only costs 3 points, whereas the, the vitamins costs 5 apiece. So uh, it's a great way to stack up on uh, those rare candies. In fact, the best thing to do is to do this every night and accumulate the rare candies and keep them for as late as possible. You, got, you gotta wait until the rare candies give you a lot of experience points, which is why I waited all the way until the Elite Four to do it uh, in Pokemon Red. Now I'm now the optimum time for this LP is going to be right before Red, especially since uh, his levels are like... Uh, 15, 20 levels higher than anything else, so I'm definitely going to need those rare candies. Okay, now that I've been properly introduced to the minigame and I got my blue card, now it's time to partake in this minigame for the first time. I'm only going to show it this one time, though I am going to make an effort to do this every night. Okay, now it's going to... Ah, she's actually making me talk into the mic, so... It's my first radio experience! That's cool, okay, so... Lucky Channel, this is the password, and I got it right! You did tune in, I'm so happy. Well, actually, even if I didn't tune in, I still had a reasonable chance of getting it right, so... But I don't want to hurt her feelings, so I'm gonna say, yep, I did tune in. Which I did, but I could not have done so and still have gotten it right. So the lady in green over there is the one that gives me the prizes, and naturally I'm only going to be picking the rare candies. And if I do this every night, maybe not every night, I'm not going to get out of the depths of Mount Mortar for uh, this, for example, but if I do it 
nearly every night as much as I can, I'm going to be ha having quite a huge stock of, uh, of rare candies, which in turn is going to mean that I am... Let me calculate this. If this takes 8 more months, that would mean 240 points. Let's remove 40 from this, and that would be 200. At the 3... 3 points apiece, that would be 66.6 rare candies. Let's say 65. That's at least 10 levels for every guy on my team. Just for going there every night, just saying the password. Well, that is a lot. Note that this is only an estimation. I'm not necessarily sure that it's going to be taking 8 more months, but um, as I said, it's going to be at least 10 levels. Maybe even as high as 15 if this drags on too much. Though I would like it to be over in a reasonable amount of time, and I'm not going to stretch uh, that thing only to get more rare candies for red. Though to be fair, it would have been fun to uh, be able to buy PP ups from this thing. Right now, the only way you can buy PP ups in bulk, well, I say buy, obtain PP ups in bulk is in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum uh, at the lottery in Jubilife. And for that, you have to get the last two uh, numbers of uh, the number of the day, right? Whether it's for from uh, an ID from a Pokemon that's on your team or in your box, uh, it works both ways. But for the first three generations, nope, there's no such thing. So I just met the Name Raider, which does the exact same thing as in the other generations, and he says almost the same thing as in the other generations, so I am just not going to bother. And um, there's one thing, though, I was talking earlier on about the Pokemon Music uh, channel on uh, the, the Pokegear Radio um, and what it did, and uh, it's been substituted for uh, some, uh, some Ash Flutes in uh, the third generation. There's the Black Flute and the White Flute. Now, what I've heard, I'm not entirely sure, but what I've heard is that they only work for one step. So if anyone knows for sure, then I would like to know as well. And uh, those flutes came back in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Well, they're in the game code, but there's no real way of acquiring them. Uh, the only real way is to transfer a Pokémon that's holding one of, of the flutes through Pal Park, and there's no other way. Yes, I think there is a way, actually. I think Looker gives you one in Platinum, but that's it. For Diamond and Pearl, there is no way to obtain those flutes, and in Platinum, I, th I think you only get that one flute, so the others you gotta transfer through Pal Park as well. And I think this is the last house in the city, so what I'm going to do is, since it's Sunday, I'm going to head back to the department store and go get my return TM for Quilava. And I was talking to those uh, NPCs, and they were talking about uh, running out of PP. Now remember, this was in the gold, silver, and crystal days. Back in the day, the game was centered around stall, stall, and more stall. The, the, the big names were defensive powerhouses like Snorlax and Skarmory and Blissey, and running out of PP wasn't uncommon back then. Now the only way to be forced to struggle is via tongue since the games go by so fast. So here is the return TM which I'm going to give to Quilava, and I, as I said, I don't expect it to pack 102 power right away, but it should definitely be enough to tide me over for a while. It's certainly going to be stronger than quick attack at least, so that extra speed isn't going to be very valuable since I'm already at level 24, so I could use a little more power. Next on the menu is heading to the daycare to claim the odd egg, which I will do in the next video. And speaking of the next video, it might not come in the next few days because it's going to be a, fra a collection of small fragments of video for a few reasons which you'll notice right away when you see it. And I will be taping the, the next graffiti wall as well during that time. So I will see you next time for part 27 whenever that is.